If you're a swing trader, you would definitely like to know when will be the next top or bottom of the market, because all markets vibrate in harmony due to some natural laws. There must be a way to forecast this point, and it is not that difficult as we might think. Hello, bonjour, buongiorno, and buenos dias. Good day to you, trader. This is Maria from Forex Other Way, the channel for traders run by a trader. In this video, I'd like to share with you an idea of how to find harmonic values of the range and how to use some natural vibrating numbers in order to find future tops and bottoms of the swing. I'm sure when, if you get familiar with this method, it will definitely improve your trading. So let's start the rock and roll. In front of me, I've got a daily chart of EURUSD with two vertical lines marking local high of December 19, 2019, as well as uh, October 1st low of 2019. And further on this chart, I have projected some dates calculated using some natural series of numbers. The results show quite a, quite good results, to be honest. You know, it's, uh, it's not that bad. Especially the first ones, the beginning of the projection. They look, uh, magnificently. The accuracy of these projections up to date, as today we are on December 12th, 2020. Very nice date, by the way. Unfortunately, it's Saturday. The accuracy of uh, this forecast, uh, this calculation is nearly 70%, or in other words, nine dates out of 13 calculated hit the target. I mean, they have shown some tops or bottoms of market swings. How is it done? Nothing is hidden here. I will show you all the formulas, uh, how you can calculate it yourself right now. Just give me a minute. Obviously, there are more sophisticated and much more accurate methods of projection, such as uh, timing to price projections based on the square of nine and the law of vibration principles, which I teach on my private tutorial sessions online over the Skype. But this, this one also works pretty, pretty well. So this is an Excel sheet with all the calculations. In a minute, I'll show you all these values I've got hidden at the moment to not disturb you. So here are the dates, as I told you, calculated based on the range of uh, October 1st, 2019 and December 31st, 2019, which is pretty long period of time. And based on the range, everything has been done. So all this, is, let me show you first these dates, which are here from the very beginning. So we got 7th of May. The date was calculated 7th of May, 5th of June, and so on and so on. This is 5th of June, 30th of June. The next one is 21st of July. We got 9 and 27th August. So 9 and 10th. 9th was Sunday. So it is 10th August. So when calculated date falls on Saturday, usually the reversal point, the turning point, uh, the end uh, of the swing it happens on Friday. And if the calculated date uh, uh, takes place on Sunday when the market is closed as well, usually the turning point is marked the next day after that. I mean, on Monday. So we got some other dates over here. As you can see, we got them up to 17th of December. Even I got them calculated for the 17th, by the way. Very interesting date. Let me show you why. I told you in my other videos that this date of 17th may be interesting because we are approaching. We are just here. We got Venus getting into into Sagittarius, but also this happening, this big... Uh, trine between it's uh, occurred the trine it's it's occurring actually beginning from saturday 
12 it's uh, 13 begins uh, the trine between mercury and uh, mars and as well on 18th 18th is friday 18th 19th we got this uh, conjunction of uh, mercury and the sun but before that we got anyway it's uh, all these aspects uh, just begin and I think Friday 18th, 17th, 18th, so Thursday 17th, Friday 18th, it will be a major one, major swing might happen due to, to all the events of uh, Saturn-Jupiter conjunction and uh, getting out of uh, Capricorn and so on. So these are the dates calculated and let me count them. Oh, I will show you, I will show you the formula right now. I have no reason to hide it. Just let me show this formula. Show rows. Here we go. So that's the idea how you calculate. I just numbered here. This is the numbers. Uh, the order of the rows. We start over here from. So we got the date 31st of December 2019. 1st of October. Over here we've got calculated we've got calculated the range in days between these two days it's three months as you see october november december full three months 91 days it shows over here so that's the range now what we've got here this is uh natural numbers two three four and so on and here is the square root of each of these numbers you might observe 141, 173, square root of 4 is 2, 223, 244, 2828. Very nice, very similar to whatever. Uh, very interesting. Here we got the octave up to here, by the way. W. Degan considered 7 as important number because, you know, the seventh uh, square of natural number out of 1, which is the square root of 1, is 1. We got 2.8 2 to 8 uh, uh, as a multiplication, multiplicating factor. And here is the formula. Simple. The formula says uh, B8, B8 is uh, this one. B8 is, uh, is the range in days between these two, to bottom and top. So the formula says is b8 multiplied by c4 which actually is the square root of a natural number plus and is added to this date to 31st december 2019 so here is the formula and here so here i calculated the number of days yeah because it's the same is b8 multiplied by c4 so 91 multiplied by 141 is 1 to 8.69 roughly 129 days this is the number of days over here calculated starting from uh, the last day of december 2019 and here are the results on red this on pinky i marked the points which I consider were hits. It's uh, whatever. Let me show them. It's uh, this one is a hit. This one is a hit. This one is the beginning of the uptrend. This one is a miss. First miss. This is a hit. This is uh, more or less the hit. Is just a day or two difference, but the market moved two days upwards. This one is the hit. This one roughly you might consider, but let's say no this one is a hit this one is a miss and this one is a miss and we got two more one here one here so we got four misses for missing uh, target four calculations were missing target and another one another nine were nearly up to the point so it's a it's, it's pretty good idea so uh, as you can see, using the square root of value as a multiplicate square root of any value as a multiplicating factor, you could get some decent results. They are very natural. That's why W. D. Gunn was talking about natural law of vibra vibration. Natural numbers, the series of natural numbers. Obviously, we could have multiplicated this value by 2, 3, and 4, and probably we would get some 
interesting results. You can try it at home if you want. Obviously, this is one, as I, as I told you, is one of the simplest methods of calculating that are much more sophisticated. Obviously, if you want to learn them, you can, you can try to learn them on my private tutorials, private mentoring sessions over the Skype. You'll find the, the contact address, uh, email address below. Just write me an email, you'll find all the details. So thank you very much for your time. I hope it was a value for you and I hope I'll see you next time. Take care of yourself and bye-bye.